Shots fired. I gave you a ride to the store. Well, you smelled like piss. And now the scent is still in my front seat. Okay, so did You'll come in quick. You having an abortion? That, that little pussy smell fish. Shots fired. Hey Aquarius, thank you for tuning in to Shots Fire. This is a general message. Only take the part that resonates, leave the rest. If you'd like to book a personal reading, you can do that at the website, divinelyme.com. Don't forget every Tuesday we have two questions for $20. Our lovely Shots Fire is coming from our beautiful Oracle deck, the TSR bitches, available at the website. Y'all might want to go ahead and pick that up, okay? Get you a deck. So you can find out what's really going on in your situation. Yeah, a situation, not a situation. Okay. Why y'all gotta be so controlling? Okay, y'all always trying to control the situation, control your emotions, control people. Somebody also needs to change their toothpaste from what I heard. Now that's just what I heard. Somebody here, I don't know if they teeth are yellow. I don't know if and, and let's let's just let's say this name. I ain't saying this. This is what I'm picking up. So either it's you saying it, Aquarius, or the cross watcher. Either way, let me know in the description box, okay? But somebody here got some yellow ass teeth, okay? I don't know if it's due to smoking and I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, okay? But they got some, some baking soda and peroxide from what I had heard. I also hear that somebody here, they need to change change their behavior, change their ways. And I feel as if somebody here, their insecurities are starting to um, seep up out of their pores. Like the stench of that garlic somebody has been eating. Somebody likes pesto also. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to get into it. That's just when I said in your energy, that's what I had heard. Okay. Exactly what I had heard. Bottom of the deck, family tribe so these is your people talking shit or you felt like they was your people hmm. sexual arts so this is somebody who you got a situation y'all can have a family with this person you consider this person to be family for a lot of you guys this is a spiritual relationship this is your twin that's talking shit you or this person could have a gap in your mouth i feel as if somebody here somebody got a yeast infection Okay, somebody pH balance is all throwed the fuck off. Okay, maybe that's what's seeping up out somebody's pores. Okay, somebody is over the bullshit. I don't know what's going on. Oh, oh Lord. See that I had to take a break. I know y'all was like, where is ours? And I, I be having to take a break during these shots fired because man, y'all be making me nervous. Okay, it be straight funk on site. Down low lovers. Okay, so somebody here messing with two different people but yet you have an attachment to this person or this person has an attachment to you somebody here there's um a lot of again discharge i'm picking up a lot of changes and it could be changes in your menstrual cycle somebody here could have a lot more and i'm sorry fellas um but ladies I have to say what the ancestors are telling me, the messages as they come. Somebody here, you can have a lot more clotting this month or changes in your menstrual cycle um, from darker red to a lighter color. And I also feel as if somebody here has had sex on their menstrual cycle. And I feel as if somebody, your menstrual cycle could last from three to six days. What I feel like end up happening or ends up happening is this person had sex on like the last day of their menstrual cycle when you were you know drying up okay um and it made you or it's going to make you start your cycle again somebody here okay so okay these fumes okay everybody this ain't for you this might be the person that you're dealing with okay but the shot's fired i don't know what's going on broke bitch alert in the reverse so the real underlining issue is that you've cut somebody out financially. You've cut somebody out. A lot of you guys were giving to this person. Very vulnerable relationship. You could have given this person or even loaned this person some money. Okay. This person feels stripped, bare. Somebody has uh, taken a loss or an L in this situation. 
online dating. And one more card. You got these bitches taking note. Overall energy, polyamorous relationships. Didn't I tell y'all there was multiple people involved here, okay? So somebody here, your pH could have got thrown off, okay? Or if your pH didn't get thrown off, if it wasn't your pH, it was somebody else's pH, okay? But somebody's shit is unbalanced. Your checkbook looks nice, though. Okay, we'll say that. The banking account looks nice. Let's get into this. Shelby. So, you messing around with somebody. Okay, you notice the changes in this person's behavior. I, I just I, I keep going back to this discharge man. I don't know what's going on, man. This person could have threw your, dis your discharge off. They could have threw your pH balance off in the past. Maybe that's how you know that this is your twin, okay? For some of y'all, somebody even came up on some money and somebody got an issue with that. Somebody's feeling real vulnerable. And I feel as if somebody is, I just heard, stalking the other person online, okay? Somebody is definitely copying your style or your swag. You can feel like this. Somebody's trying to have a come up off of you. For a lot of you guys, you could be in a um, profession where you utilize your body or it's very creative, sexual. Somebody here could be a porn star, okay? That's not everybody, but somebody here could definitely be a porn star. We have the two of wands. So this person is a comparison. They're comparing you to someone else or you're finding yourself comparing this situation. King of Wands, dealing with the King of Wands. Somebody here is, sleeps with a lot of people. I'm sorry. I just keep looking at this pussy cat here. Okay, somebody here could have a cat and somebody here could act like a pussy, okay? Be honest with you. I do feel as if the more masculine energy acts like a bitch in a skirt. Especially when they don't get their way. Somebody definitely needs to get a manicure. You or this person, your nails could be painted um, like a... Uh, nude type color see this is a lot of mundane things a lot of petty shit 22 is very significant somebody's birthday could be in the month of uh june from what i'm hearing cancer season is also significant some of you guys are dating another um air sign like yourself or you're very clear with what it is that you're seeing online. Somebody here, you notice that this person has been giving to two different people. They keep going back and forth. When one relationship isn't working, they go to the next relationship. And I feel as if, you know, you keep exchanging or giving to this relationship knowing that I need to cut something out or cut someone off. It's not as if you don't know this. Because this is, look at how you're looking at this situation. Hmm, what do I cut off? Who do I cut out? And I do feel as if this is motivated by monetary means or by somebody's, um, somebody's social status. Some of you guys love art. Some of you guys could have some very sexual pictures um, of this person or this person has sexual pictures of you. I also feel as if some of you guys could have a lot of art in your home. Okay, I feel like um, somebody here, home designing, interior decoration, things like that. You could be wanting to redo the home. Somebody here could be a painter or an artist of some sort. Nude paintings could be significant. It's some type of work when it comes to sex. Somebody here could be um, like a sexual, um, a sexual therapist or... There's something stemming from sex. And either way, whatever it is, I feel as if this person, somebody here is struggling with sex. Some of you guys could be dealing with someone who is a sex addict. But this is merely motivated by who can give more. When you don't have something to give, this person goes to the next person. Somebody could have bought this person a computer, could have... Um, hook this person up with some type of electronics or this person likes some type of gadget it's like you guys like gadgets look at this scorpionic energy and there's the ending bottom of the deck tower card 
okay? World card. See, somebody here, this was forced. It had to end. This was out of your hands. This was the universe stepping in in this situation. Why? Because somebody keeps giving their cup, keeps going back to this person. And you can feel as if this is a drug addiction. You know, loving this person, being with this person, you have a hard time saying no to this person. No financially, no sexually to this person. Even though you know that this person is juggling you or they are not treating you the way you should be treated. Somebody is refusing to end a relationship. But now that the universe has stepped in you know um and i feel like it's out of your hands you're being forced to walk away from this situation or this person is being forced to walk away from this situation somebody definitely likes to drink coffee you could have drank some type of coffee um something with like pumpkin spice in it i feel as if somebody also likes apple cider apple cider vinegar is very significant queen of pentacles you can't make this up. See, the issue is someone's financial stability. Somebody is at a crossroad because they're trying to figure out their next move financially. I don't have any cups here. For some of you guys, this could be a work-related situation. There is no love here. You have cups. I mean, um, you have pinnacles. Some of you guys dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. But money is the motivation and that's why somebody here is at a crossroad. Somebody could also be 36 to 42. You keep going back and forth with this person, with this situation. Thinking that if I keep giving more, then I'm going to eventually get what it is that I want out of this person. But you're dealing with someone who they're greedy, highly sexual, someone who's insecure, and someone who does not respect what a real commitment or a relationship is. This person attaches themselves to the fattest ass with the fattest wallet or purse that they see. Look at how this person is um, attached. This attachment comes from sex and money. Because somebody has the finances to give to this situation. Somebody here is financially stable and it's the one who is willing to give the most in the relationship and look at this pinnacles again four of pinnacles they want to hold on to you for the financial reasons for the financial aspects of the queen of wands so now we have queen of pinnacles queen of wands and the king of swords so now we have the three people out here but somebody keeps giving over to the passion somebody wants attention and let's be honest somebody here thinks that their money is going to get them that attention from this person and it's not sun card leo energy a lot is being illuminated look at this shadow card you have a lot of major arcanas here death card sun card shadow card a lot is being illuminated about this situation and for a lot of you guys you're realizing that again it has to be some type of transformation somebody here is learning Somebody here is taking notes from the other person. And this could even be as far as you observing their behavior, seeing how they play the game and trying to play the game with this person. This is a mental game between the two of you. And it goes from something, you know, in the beginning that was very positive to something that is very dark. This person brings your darker side out. They bring out your obsessive side. They bring out your depressed side. They bring out the side where you feel unstable in your thoughts, in your decision because of what it is that you're wanting to hold on to. Somebody here could um, be wanting to rent a car, purchase a car for somebody. I just feel as if there's a rotation, a lot of things being hidden. 
somebody's true intentions are being hidden will of fortune somebody's luck is changing four of swords some of you guys are taking a break from this relationship with this three of swords ending this situation due to the lies and deception you finally get to a place where you can no longer accept these for some of you guys it's extramarital affairs the secrets somebody here is also hiding money they're not really giving to the relationship Again, one person puts in more energy than the other person. And then you got the nerd to talk shit. Because now I'm, now I'm really thinking about this. And I feel like that's how y'all are. It's like when you really sit back and you think about this. And you think about the very beginning when I said, this person is sitting up here talking shit. Something seeping from somebody pours. The insecurity. And the insecurities are being seen through what it is that you're willing to give to this person in spite of this toxicity that they put you in. Who is this Queen of Pentacles? Who is the Queen of Pentacles? The Queen of Pentacles is somebody fronting like she has it when she doesn't. Somebody here who's painting pictures. Somebody who likes Apple products. This is somebody who um, drinks a lot. This is somebody who, who could have been drinking online. Tell me who this Queen of Wands is. Who's getting this attention? Fuckboy vibes in reverse. Screenshot them receipts. So somebody here is trying to do what's right, you know, um, because you have information on them and look at this bottom of the deck std alert so the queen of wands was the one who is going through this discharge who's going through these issues with their cycle std alert a bitch beneath you courtship realizing that they were dating somebody who put them in a situation um where again their pH was thrown off. There was some type of sexual, I keep hearing disease. Now somebody is single. This person's gotten caught up, talking about some, I'ma change my behavior. I ain't trying to play games no more. But this person has mental health issues. Who is this King of Swords? one night stands if any of this resonates please like share and subscribe shots fired